A safety alert as a frightening figure is scaring children globally, and that includes kids right here at home. The character appears in children's videos on platforms such as YouTube Kids. News 10's Jordan Kudish joins us now to explain what we need to watch out for and what this scare is all about. Jordan. Susie, her name is Momo, and this isn't the first time we've seen her. The character appeared last year in Argentina, and people didn't pay close attention to her antics. Now she's in the United States and scaring several children. As you can see behind me, her image is quite disturbing. The character appears midway through shows intended for children, like Paw Patrol and Peppa Pig on certain YouTube videos. Parents don't notice the image at first because it appears randomly. When she does show up, she tells children vulgar things like how to commit suicide. I reached out to several parents who voiced their concerns on Facebook. Susie Quick is a mother of four who's witnessed Momo's effects firsthand. Her seven-year-old daughter saw her school counselor because of it. That's after her friend introduced her to the character. The older friend asked my daughter if she knew who Momo was and showed her a YouTube video where Momo was singing a scary song and had threatened to harm them. Her daughter Sarah was immediately in tears after viewing the image. That's when Quick realized how serious this trend was becoming. She told her mother, it was So scary, I threw the tablet and screamed. I don't ever want to see that face again. For weeks, Sarah didn't want to be left alone. She wouldn't sleep in her own bed. She didn't want to be anywhere in the house by herself, leave the bathroom door open, go in any room she wouldn't shut the door. She didn't want me out of sight. Quick says she's always taught her children about public safety. But this is something she wasn't prepared for. It's tough. It's tough that we live in a world now where you can't trust your kid to watch cartoons or videos. Quick says that she's thankful her daughter told her before she got harmed, but not every child is coming forward. At the top of the hour, I'll give you advice on how to look out for those signs if your child is experiencing something like this. Back to you, Susie.